I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. Nice. His name was Fenrir. Fenrir. Look at the state of you. You're more of a wreck than this place. Oh, Is this what you call taking better care of yourself? No more excuses, your ladyship. I order you to rest. <sighs> Fine. I'll rest. Don't worry, Gav. She's in good hands. But we should have never let her fall into Hugo's. Back when he had some, like. Yeah, when Question he had is, some. <laughs> where is he now? And what the hell were those royalists doing there? Hmm. Hugo's his first name. I should have known. All the way home. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And I'll talk to Tomes. The Lawsman. About what? About your faithful hound for a start. If any four-legged friends ever done that before, I'm betting Tomes will have read about it. But what I want to know is, what happens afterwards? Yeah. It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill... Right. Let me know if you learn anything. True. Will do. And you do the same, eh? Hey, yeah, eh? Jill. Listen to Taya. I will. Thank you. Twice they almost kissed. Bolts from the blue. Bolts of the blue. Okay, power of Earth. Clive has claimed portion, a portion of Icon Titan's essence. Attuning with Titan not only Changes the element aspect of Clive's magic spells, uh, abilities such as wind up, singular strike. Uh, yeah, we know. Uh, ti okay, Titanic block can be used to fend off most incoming attacks using square immediately after a perfectly timed precision block will initiate a devastating counter. Okay. Let me look at the, um, the party makeup has changed. A new missive has been. Okay. Uh. Let me look at my abilities. Titan channeled. There he is. Okay. Ah, I got enough. Okay, so I'm gonna get this one. There we go. Now his is Ethan's fear or Earth and Fury. Ethan. Ugh. Open that one up. There we go. Okay, we're gonna speak with Otto, so let's go. Otto, is now a good time? Mm. No. It's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. Yeah, because they... We've sent owls out to the Kupka's breakers and their other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. But it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Mid. When did you get back? Uh oh. Just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas, in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll uh -oh. be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. How long will he be staying this time? Uh. Dunno. A while, most likely. Any road, while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. But. You can't just expect me to. Please oblige her.
While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? Yeah. <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air. Which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. Yeah. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the storeroom when you're done. Wait, hold on. Uh, it's like, dang it. Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Oh, jeez. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? Uh, what is going my on here? fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. Oh, boy. <laughs> Little. He's like, I'm leaving. <laughs> the storeroom, was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. Yeah. Something. Shouldn't you be getting some rest soon? Who can rest? Everybody's got me running errands. You took your time. I'm a well, busy excuse man, me. Mate. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Mid, you've only just come back. Yeah. And I've been thinking about it for a while. What's with this accent? Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. So, she wants a workshop. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put me knack to work. I know that I can help the people here. It's like, and get I to work. Do it. <laughs> get to oh, work. Well, well. It's sick at see you now. Yeah. All right. I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. I knew you'd say yes, which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. Great. For me? I knew it. Who else? <sighs> I need this and that what and this and go for it, get it. First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the design to the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart oh from the goodness. wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. Oh, jeez. Yeah, getting to work. Basically, getting to work for me. <sighs> Where to start? Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. Crafting material. My kid, my kid made me a salad. I'm so privileged. Tastes pretty good too. All right. She actually cooked uh, cooked the, the have been ingredients. Up to their old tricks again. Okay. Kudos Chill. to my kid. White is a sheet. All right. So we got to go here. Was wondering where you got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. Think you can find everything on there? This lot. Won't be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment, it's paid, hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have naught to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed it would. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. All right, what? Is it business or pleasure? I'm just seeing what she's got. This is the same Oh. 
Hunter's wit. Oh, the arm cloths are important. Okay, I'm gonna get that. It better all be. Yeah. Uh... Okay, I need some potions. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. There we go. Come again. You're oh, welcome. Don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Or don't. <laughs> Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission for you, from Mid. She requires certain tools. All right. Do you think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? Maybe. Yeah. We'll see what I can do. Tell her I'll bring them over when I'm done. <laughs> My thanks. And mids, no doubt. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolph's available. Uh, that's down. The dumpster. Um. Yeah. So right. See if I can get this way. Maybe not. Okay. You never know unless you try, right? No, that's my place. I gotta go through. Now my dog is yelping because he wants what I have. the heck is this carpenter oh he's way over there <laughs> whoops all right I should have just looked at my map before huh so it's how smart I am Clive, Clive. at least he's nicer you. Oh, wait 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 this one's better. No scratches, all right? Let's see. Uh. Yeah, I need a lot of parts. That it? Yeah, that's it, Fine. shut up. All right. I should just look, right? I'm just. I gotta go to the lift, I guess. Yeah. Ding ding. Do with a good oil in this, good. There is. Should be enough to keep. How do, Master Sig? Bardolph. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally, I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can, but I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I gladly spare Mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is I ain't got none. Uh oh. <sighs> I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Oh, great. Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolph. <laughs> Least I could do. So we got, we got to go to Martha's Rest. So let's do that. And get that other, uh, the other, what they call bloke.
Ah, Clive, what brings you to the rest? Ah, uh, I'm running um, back and forth. Finds itself in need like of an, an extra idiot. carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look from there then. Man. There's way up there. Ah. Why? Stay sharp. Don't know when those bastards will be back. Have to go straight up. No. Yep. Okay, I'm going the right way. Uh, I have to. I have to do all these errands. They just take forever. But this is story based, so. up here somewhere what's this it's the same as the one back at the hideaway oh I ain't going in there doesn't seem to be working though good The lad who saved my life. What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Fade to black. <laughs> Building a workshop, you say? Well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Oh, Before my go? God. Of course. Well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with fiends. Can you but call you're the a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any oh, chance you could... Uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care. So the buddy is just gonna leave while I take care of the damn bugs. This shouldn't take long.
that more enemies approach. Of course they do. There you go. Jeez. Got Dragon Town? Okay. That should do it. <laughs> you made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Oh, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the Blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Jeez. Oh, it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Don't be. Can't live in the past, no matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. I'll meet you there. About time. That's it. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? Oh, shut up. You asked me that at the same time. All right, Clive. You've all done then. Yeah, um, golfer. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant. Thanks, Clive. You're welcome, man. Is there anything else you need? Nope. Black 
Sean and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. All right, get to work, <laughs> man. I can't wait. Yeah, let's go. Finally. Long, long quest. <laughs> I didn't get... Okay, I get it. All right, so we are going to be talking to Cav. So we're going to go in here. Clive, where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something about Toggle. He's where did you get him? Dog. Like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. Is he a dog? They were no, crossing no. a snowfield when they heard his cries, and seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tones? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive, I believe that Torgal may be no mere a frost hound, wolf. There you but go. a rare frost wolf, an animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. Nice. His name was Fenrir. Fenrir, Fenrir the Frostwolf. So he's related to Fenrir. Now, the annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva. The girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One Jill. awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other? You're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers? What? Just like Fenrir. Yeah. People called him my hound, but Toggle and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. There you go. Just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own. His latent birthright as a Frostwolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal. <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. Oh. Yeah, where's my milk bowl? And regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. <laughs> well... <laughs> there you are. What? I've been looking everywhere for you. Bernard's here. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. <sighs> I shall be a moment. Gosh, I can't even talk. It's like, poof. she just, <laughs> she just blazes in. That's just funny. We need to get to work. What is she? Oh, well, whatever. That's some fast work. Some time later. It is. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. You and everyone else. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm going to work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen. Then I look forward to seeing them. Well, let's get to it, man. All right. So it's going to say that that's settled. I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Kupka. Okay. So we have a workshop now. So we're going to go to Vivian. Get a listen no to her. It's a waste of time. All of her talking. Oh, I can't go that way. Or can I? I get so. Yeah, I do go this way. I get so lost in this area. It's crazy. I'm like, where, where, what, where? Okay. Here's the 
Ian. How goes Two hours later. Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. Oh, by the way, I found him. <laughs> what? Here? Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. Oh, uh, Clive, have you got a minute? God, everybody's bugging me. We, um, <laughs> have a guest. We have a guest. A guest? Okay. Trouble. It's a uncle. pleasure being hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> uncle Byron? Clive, my boy! Tap a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here! <laughs> what the frick is his uncle doing there? Uh oh. Meanwhile, yeah. Twin side, the Holy Empire of Sambrik. Seat of the Imperial Court. The Dalmekian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they're willing to accept their Bahamut. fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. What is up with her son? We must insist on He's just like laying, lay, yeah, he doesn't the look. So something's up. Bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths. And he lays feed. on her lap. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. Prince Olivier. So that was him? With you, your Highness. May, May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Very good. Now, let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Eon's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. So they want... Bahamut. The men of the Fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. So let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can, and once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while his highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both. You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. And what of your subjects, your Radiance? Hmm. If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. 
Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. Oh, jeez. For every home that burns, another can be built. The empire will live on. Dion? Yes, sir. Oh, Dion. Prince Dion's him. Bahamut. I just, something's up with her son. I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna smell my flower. Really? <laughs> I give you the flower. <laughs> Prepare for battle. But sire. Do not make me repeat myself. Return okay. to your camp and await my orders. Wow. If that is your wish, your radiance, I shall like, depart get out. at once. It's like, get out. <laughs> Gregor, forgive you. Yeah. What do the astrologers augur? The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. Uh-uh. The shadow of treachery. So Annabella's tales were true. You disappoint me, Dion. What's up with her son? Why is her son like that? I, he doesn't even sit in his own... Uh, he doesn't even sit in his own chair. It's like... What on earth is Uncle Byron doing here? It's like, okay, Only just stroke my hair. <laughs> oh, okay, let's... We're going to speak with Byron. The little ones have been up to their old. It's just oh one thing God. after another around here. Too funny. Very odd. I have a feeling their child has something. I, I don't know. I, I'm just I'm just speaking out loud. All right. Hey, Uncle. Okay, let's go. Ah, my dear nephew. How I've missed you. <laughs> How did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The Guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came, to learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. Right. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosalith <coughs> to Port Isolde. Yep. I was. Aye. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, cool. you there? Fetch my luggage. There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? <laughs> Gav. <laughs> Gav is so funny. It's 2,000. And I'm afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Coco withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. 
What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Uh -huh. Come here and I'll show you. Here we go. Two hours later? Yeah. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. Yeah. So can the same be said of your visitors from Mulud? Certainly, her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. That's Odin. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes. It seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Yeah. Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts? But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. No, the journey yeah. would mean Titan's death and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have tightened back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. Oh. To wit, it was the Royalists, not the Republicans, who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. Oh. So that's where we're going. Oh boy. So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning, as if they believed or were made to believe that their master was dead. You have a keen mind, mm. Lord Rosfield. And you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the Royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now, but as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. So we're going to Drake's uh, Fang. Allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Camberwood on business after visiting you here. The fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned. And where we're going. Oh, yeah. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. Okay, so... Her, we have a light on her, ah. so... My favorite pupil. Allow me to educate you. Okay, so what I'm just gonna Study do it is well, do that. Clive. And I'm of just course. clearing it. Okay. Very good. I don't need to study. It's finished out right. in a little workshop I here. Make sure there isn't anything that opened up. No, nope. okay, we're well, good. Let's go. See. Of course. Otto. Kupka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kupka's head. I won't risk any more than I have to. I promise. Yeah. The Lanzar and the Fang are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way, you ask for Rosina Dalamil. Some call her the Desert Hare. Desert Who is Hare, she? Huh? An old associate of Sid's. And only Sid's. 
All I know is the name, and that they used to meet at the Dalamil Inn. Uh, they We've used to meet. Nothing mm. from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Ah. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but. Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. He's like, no. Thank fuck for that. Hey, Gav, language. Otto, I'm leaving you two in charge. You can count on us. All right. So, return to By Byron. So he's down at the fort. Oh, no, it's right there. So he's down at the fort. Okay, let's go. All right, Uncle. I'm ready to depart. Shall we? I know I have we enough shall. potions and stuff. Come, I, I let bought, us away to adventure. I bought potions uh, b before I did the uh, uh, side quest. I couldn't even think. I'm like, oh, what? There's a new one. That wasn't there. Okay, so the Velcroy Desert's new. All right. Here we go. Great. <laughs> the music. <sighs> I was a young man when last I walked this path. <clears throat> There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. Okay. Riddle of the Sands. Oh boy. Oh. Our destination lies over that dune. Beyond the ruins. Mark them well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sands. That was easy. How does crabs and everything? Or scorpion? Uh. Ah! <laughs> This one. Ah! Get him. Yeah. Many years ago, when you were still, you and I rode this way together, accompanying your father on a scouting expedition to Drake's land. Oh, you let he me come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. You were so eager to be there when your brother arrived that you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and Jeez. fell from the saddle. <laughs> I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, bawling like a babe. Like, great. Thanks, Uncle. Don't they just love telling you about stuff like that? Wow. Interesting. Who do you think those soldiers were in the inn? I'm gonna look around, see if there's a chest anywhere. Sometimes there is. be marked. Uh. Guess that's just a rest spot. Ah, there she is. The good old Dalamil Inn. 
Do you know, this heat has given me quite a thirst. Uh, quick drink before we press on? Is that all you can think of, Uncle? found something. Something's wrong. Look there. Those are ashen steeds. No doubt about it. And such a long ride from Stone here. Mm. Our Waluda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? Run along and play now, Torgal. Dogs aren't allowed inside. Go, go have fun. Uh oh. Wow, do you like that? Just all of a sudden got super dark. <laughs> Good day to you. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. Oh. Two bowls of that, then. An ale. Right you are. Hey, go! Coming! Your pal? Would you rather be my squire? <laughs> Aha! We're hiding him upstairs. They're in the same place. <coughs> oh, gosh. Your Grace, it is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that? Yes, Your Grace. But you must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. So his brother's right upstairs, man. So everybody's at the same place. I thought you, you know, what's his face was upstairs. They're right, they're right there. Oh my gosh. Keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skin. I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be Cooker, then. <laughs> Shh. 
let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey, you. Uh-oh. Yeah. Sorry. How did she leave? Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. Yo, oh, come on, they've got to meet. Well, I know you they've are met travelers, before, are you not? <laughs> Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Come on, help us find our way. Sorry, lads, but we've got business in camera that can't wait. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Yeah, well, well, I'm out. <laughs> Friend. to lose. Friend. Oh. oh, here we go. Stay back, Uncle. Gladly. Well, I'll stay back. Dude, I'm gonna go eat. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's like bravo, my boy. Just like that. Keep it up. Yeah. Oh, he's just like cheering him on. It's just so funny. <laughs> he's still eating. Your trouble. Uh, <laughs> word of advice, miss. That soup could do with a touch more salt. <laughs> He's like, ah. <laughs> Hopefully she tells she tells uh his brother who it is. She should know. She's hiding him. Now's our chance. <sighs> no. Your Grace? I'm fine. <sighs> well, I guess they're not gonna meet. I'll go on it. Feels it. He feels it. Clive? It's too late. He's gone.
What is it now? J Joshua. It is nothing. Let's go. So he knows his brother was there. Cool. <laughs> Torval's like, oh, you're back. Okay, we are making to dra uh, Drake's fans. Hold on, let me see what's all here. Nothing. All right. Uh oh. Of course. Of course. Of course. Ah, they've closed the road, and it's the only way from here to the Fang. It would seem Lord Kupker is not accepting visitors at present. Oh, well. We have to get through that gate. Uh, not by force, I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. Uh, uh, by guile, then. Uh, 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 Perhaps the desert hare can offer us her aid. Yeah. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means. The wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. Yeah. I'll wager this Rosina Dalamel is the same. Exactly. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. All right, so... Speak to the townspeople. All right, um... Okay, one's next to me. Oh, right there. Light it for Gilbert's sake. You're a bearer. Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow well. me. My good man, we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets, and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. <laughs> oh, um... You wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No. I can't say I do. Oh, well. well. Thank no you all help. the same. <laughs> no help. Okay. This person here. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? What do you want? I you <laughs> long. I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Oh, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. Won't find a finder smithy this side of the strait. Gerin is only a young sprig, but he's got all the right ideas. The Briar's Kiss, you say? Thank you. I doubt this young sprig right. is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience. Believe you me. Back to Drake's family in terms. Says it's close. Oh, I passed it. See, I hate when it does that. Where'd it go? Quest nearby. It'll do stuff like this. Oh, it's this guy. I figured. Can I help you? I figured. Yes. I'm looking for a woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. 
Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. Cool. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. <laughs> all right. Back again. Well, it sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this photo knows. Wait, incense! What wax candle? There's Ferda. Excuse me. Are you Ferda? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the desert hare? She was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. Ah, oh, jeez. Go here, go there, go everywhere! Just look at the detail! Do you think we can trust him? Only as far as I think. Go here, go there, go everywhere! So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. Oh, boy. I beg your pardon? Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business and you're likely to lose it. I know I'm weird. Things things just tickle my funny bone sometimes. Alright. And well, you guys are laid out. Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, uh, he, him. The, the boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Uh -uh. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Uh. Your skill with a blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, my lord. To the lock of leisure, then. A <laughs> lock of leisure? There you go. To the lock of leisure. All right, we're going to the lock of leisure. Oh, there is a. Okay, there is a. Uh, a traitor. Hold on, I'm gonna go over there. Ahead. Looks like we won't be getting back to Drake's family anytime soon. Are you looking for something in particular? Okay, let's see. I already have that, have that. No. 40,000. You guys are nuts. Okay, I need a high potion. Here you are. All right, then we're going to sell some stuff. I have a bunch of, I have four of these. 
anything else I can and take off your blood. hands? Because these... Pleasure trading and with you. And then the goblin coins. Thank you kindly. Right. Okay, now we can go. Hanging lanterns, keep the darkness from your silver platters. Made from the stoutest stoneware. Um, one sec, I gotta, I gotta see abilities. 442. Not even enough. Jeez, okay. Fresh bread, warm ah, from the oven. Yes, yeah, uh, have a taste. Once you go flat, oh my god! The most fragrant herbs in the uh, finest fabric! There we are. Is this the place? Who was Forge? The Briar's Kiss. Ah, so it was the young sprig after all. Yeah. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Yeah. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. It's a man of me. See that he gets it. Well. Lubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second? Yeah. <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> <laughs> he left. <sighs> so he's a blacksmith as Tell well. Tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why, trust. Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Yeah, he's just sitting there twiddling his thumbs. Let's leave this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm. Why? very smart. I like this one. Willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Oh my gosh, let's just Why get on with it. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff. We might as well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Yeah. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you! Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. 
It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. I'd rather not drag this parlor game on any longer than we need to. <sighs> All right. Good luck, Uncle. I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Delamil. Alright, sorry guys. <laughs> I'm sitting there. Alright, so speak with the townspeople. Okay, that person's right there. Uh see when it does that and then the mark is gone. There it is. Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard then. I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. All right, we are still working on this. Oh, I can't jump that way. What am I doing? I'm like, let me just jump over the wall. <laughs> Sorry about the jittering. It's actually getting on my nerves. All right, let's talk to this person. Do you have a moment? No. Depends what for. There you go. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang, for one. Yeah. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. There you go. The men of the Rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is men that of so? the Rock. Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. Why? Why? Why talk? Why? Now, there's one thing I have to say. Uh, I'm sorry. These, I, I understand this is how, this is how most Final Fantasy games work, but this gopher stuff is ridiculous. I mean, I could understand if the most for side quests. Needed to a silken soft. You wouldn't believe how much you gave. But I know you need it for further, but this is stupid. What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polish? I'm sorry, that's the only thing I don't I'm like. not a soldier. Oh, then be off with you. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. Oh, so you have <laughs> an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't <laughs> want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. The butter, the. Uh, I'm not going to say it. Urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. It's like, I, I only. I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I only I deal. If Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. They'll probably be back at the inn by now. The finest fabric. Where? Okay, it says it's. Where in the? Okay, it's, it's right. Fresh from the capital. Where in the heck am I going? It said quest nearby. I don't. And then it disappears. I see it doesn't. That's another thing that I don't like. What was oh, all that right crashing there. and banging about? It's just it'll disappear, and I don't know where in the heck to go. It's you. The one who broke all our furniture. Oops. What do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? Well, they I'm started. I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you. Yes, he's upstairs. But. But what? Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. He's upstairs. But what's the but? He's busy. 
see him here? No. Upstairs where, man? Let me treat you. I'm pretty flush these days. Okay, it's that way. How are you now? You know what? I'm gonna look for a chest. You know there's always chests. I need to here. drink. I'm not reading that. I always look for chests when they're fucking the man of the wrong. Ah, see right there. I told ya. Told ya. Had a feeling. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Torgal. I was like, what the frick are you doing? How far upstairs is he? I looked there. Sorry, sorry, Tor. Here, you know what? I'm gonna pet you because you're such a good boy. Uh, you're, you're my good boy. Yeah, you're my good boy. It says it's closed, but I have no idea where. Where? Oh, found it. Huh? He's talking to them. His uncle's a. Tr no, you remember his uncle plays Will both sides. Will this suffice as a deposit? By the sense. That's a black pearl. Uh -uh. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. Ah, he's trying to all buy right. his way through. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement. So all my running around did not nothing. Here. Okay, he's what up. What are you doing, Uncle? Yeah, what are you doing, Uncle? Yep. Yeah. He's screwing it up. Okay, what's up? Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. Ah. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystal I sought if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof? Yeah. <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But uh -oh. enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? Not a damn thing! The supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. Yeah. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere and pocketing the profits. Yeah, there you go. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with the men, just as you arranged, and put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening poppin' jay thought this would be difficult. Uh-oh. It just goes to show one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. No, he's got something else underlying. You don't, you can't I be arranged that. to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. Okay, so we the gotta go. Perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support if things turn sour. <laughs> we treat you. Of course. Yeah, I've got to do everything, man. I need a drink. I need a drink. That's all just a, I need a drink. Fucking Was it that wrong. bad? Okay, I've got to go this way. Can I go this way? Yeah. Uh, no, you can't. Uh, crap. Well, that was a pain in the butt. I have to go back down and through the through. How am I gonna get around? Hold on, let me look. Because I have to go way over here. So that me So I have to go out and through the desert gate. I can't go through the desert gate, they won't let me. 
Let me see if there is a way to get over here. Because all I see is a dock. No. Okay, dumb it. Can I go this way? No. Dang it. See? When I thought I was being smart, it's like, nope. A thousand go kill for a Yeah. A rip. Ugh, why do they gotta make things so hurts. difficult? Do you think they'll be back soon? I need a new dress. Fresh bread, warm from the oven. I don't yes, care. They're quite My sore. carpets have pride of place in castle. All right, I can get through here. Oh my god. Wait, see, they make things so difficult. I gotta go through the dog dog doggone desert. Is there anything in here? It's like an oasis thingy. I saw something glowing. Oh, I saw something glowing. Doggone, I thought I saw something glowing. Of course not. Wouldn't be that easy. I'm not going against Chocobos, that's just stupid. Oh well. I gotta go around the big rock. Torgo, you're such a good boy. Too bad you can't ride him like a horse, huh? Ah. Ten gill A, why whatever. Gotta go down this way. I was just making sure. I was like, is it in the rocker? And you know what's gonna happen. You know what's gonna happen. These rendezvous always go wrong. I'll take it from here. Well, then go, Uncle. Oh, look at all the crystals they got. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? They're gonna do all something. All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Uh, yeah, you know something's gonna happen. You know. Oh my gosh, look how much. Oh, Not excuse me. bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. Oh, and we crap. have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing now that our price has been met. So they have the Royalists, eh? Hey? Yeah, the Royalists. What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies. 
bodies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion and share the benefits. Oh, jeez. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Walud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <sighs> so it would seem. Uh, My lord! What is the meaning of this? They're in cahoots, yeah. Double-crossing dogs! They're not here to do business! Kill them! Kill them both! Give me thunder! <laughs> <laughs> Two. Well, I, I went up level 31. Nice. Well, that wasn't too bad. How'd you like my performance, huh? I've oh. often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice. Don't you? Great bid. You were magnificent. The battle oh, scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? Long enough oh, to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly, buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious? Yeah, I this approve. was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the rock taking crystals men for the common folk and conspiring with the royalists. Well, now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of redress against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. Let's stare at the crystals for like 30 minutes. <laughs> well, we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. Oh my god. Sometime later. It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Clive. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. 
I suppose it could have been worse. Well, Clive, you held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. Oh, so we can go and through. Those left behind have been encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. Is that <laughs> oh, really dear. so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield. Thank you very much. <laughs> Greybeard. No, thank you very much. Greybeard. Double the... Here, wear this. Oh, I got the seal. Okay. Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Nice. Thank you, Lubor. And please, feel free to send one of my stolices back to your people. Tell them that Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. <laughs> Wow. Oh, we are lost, Elan. To his Achilles. Hopefully they don't shoot this one now. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> All right, we won't let you down. Well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. Finally. Follow the crystals, follow. Okay.